The bit shift left and bit shift right instructions load data into a bit array one bit at a time. The data is shifted through the array and unloaded one bit at a time. The file field contains the address of the register that will be manipulated. The control field stores the status of the instruction. The bit address contains the source location for the bit being shifted into the register. Length is the number of bits. The actual length is determined by the application. An example of the bit shift left instruction includes tracking parts for a spray painting application. Positions 0 through 15 of the paint line match the length of the word in bit shift left instruction. As hooks are detected by LS1 limit switch, bits are shifted in file B30 from left to right. When parts are detected by the LS2 limit switch, Logic 1 is loaded into the first bit of the shift register. With bit 0 containing Logic 1, the input status is true, triggering Spray Gun 1 output. As the part continues to move through the process, the status of the bits are continually shifting as the LS1 input transitions from false to true. The part with Logic 1 now located at position 3 is located in the bit array at bit 3. Shifting to the fourth bit of the word, bit 4 input status is true and the top coat spray gun solenoid is energized, completing the paint process. The bit shift left instruction is further illustrated by loading the conveyor in varying batch sizes. Adding two parts loads a pair of Logic 1s into the array as they trigger LS1 and LS2 simultaneously, leaving two empty hooks. Two Logic 0s are shifted left. Repeating the sequence, parts are painted when Logic 1s are shifted into the first and fourth bit of the word, and Logic 0s allow empty hooks to pass without paint operations.